Shenzhen is a beautiful place to live. It can offer a lot. From the beautiful and sunshiny coast to the amazing and dynamic tech hub. For those who are interested to work or live in this city, there will most likely be a few things that you'd wish you'd known before taking the leap. Hi, my name is Sophie. Today I'm sharing with you six important features of Shenzhen. Number one is climate. If you love sunshine, then Shenzhen is the right place for you. Now, if you know a bit about the city, it is situated in the south coast of China, so we talk about a subtropical monsoon climate. The summer is pretty long, it might begin in April and last until the end of November. The annual average temperature is pretty warm, around 23 degrees Celsius, and even for the coldest day in January, the temperature falls rarely under 10 degrees Celsius. Many Shenzhen people joke that winter does not exist here, because all you need here is t-shirt and jackets are almost useless for most of the year. Although it sounds pretty interesting with beautiful sunshine, blue skies, beaches and coastline, you'd better be prepared for the hottest period between June to September, because I don't know how I can survive without air conditioning. Number 2. Public transportation When I lived in Canada, almost all families have their own car because of the long winter and lower population density. Here in Shenzhen, most of people use public transport. Shenzhen is a megacity with the urban area measuring about 46 kilometers from west to east. So the city is developing a really strong subway system, with 12 lines already in operation and another 15 lines planned. The next public transport used by most people is bike. The Chinese bike sharing system is well developed and honestly, it is one of the best that I've ever seen. It costs nothing. It's about 1.5 yuan per use, which is equivalent of only 25 cents in American dollars. No deposit, no need to install an app. And you can have it anywhere, as well as you can drop it anywhere. It is so convenient, that is my favorite transportation tool. I use shared bike almost every day. And even for those who have a car, shared bike is commonly used to access nearby places. Number 3. The Smart City As recognized by many people as the Silicon Valley of China, Shenzhen is definitely a tech hub. Here, everything is digitized. I've been here for 3 years, and when I go out, all I need is my cell phone. Yes, here you don't need cash, keys, tickets, bank card, or papers. You have everything digitized, and all you need is your cell phone. Plus, you don't need to install applications for each of these functions. One is enough for everything. All data are saved to be used easier and faster in the future. For example, when I need to go to the hospital, I can do the reservation on my cell phone. I can choose the hospital, the time and the doctor I want. And when I arrive to the hospital, I can do the check-in by myself. The doctor gives diagnosis and I receive my results and all instructions online. Then I pay with my cell phone. This whole process is so fast that instead of wasting your time in waiting, you can really spend your time on therapy or surgeries. This is only a small example. But Shenzhen is digitalizing everything to improve efficiency, including healthcare, government affairs, tourism, education, business and services, etc. Smart systems ensure the well-functioning of the city. Don't forget, we have 18 million people here. Number 4. Population Shenzhen is an international city and welcomes all kinds of workers with their dream. Unlike some traditional cities in China having their specific cultures, Shenzhen is open-minded and easier to integrate. The country is not yet open for immigration, but you can still see in Shenzhen a lot of foreign workers. The city is young and dynamic. When you walk outside or take the subway, most of the people you'll see are young adults. They come to Shenzhen for more opportunities. 
the government implements a bunch of policies to attract young, talented workers, including residency bonus and financial support. And of course, the city is one of the most populated in the world, with a population over 18 million. You can literally find all you want here, whether it's for work opportunities and startup business, or variety of entertainment and food. Number five, work. With all these interesting aspects that I've mentioned, you might wonder why the population is so young, why people don't live here for longer time. Well, one of the reasons is that the pace in working environment is used to be pretty fast. Pressure from work is a big thing. According to a survey, 70% of workers in Shenzhen is experiencing work overtime. Instead of having a regular 9 to 6 schedule, you might be asked to stay late in weekdays or called in a weekend to complete your work. And in most of the case, that is without pay. I've already experienced a special one month of consecutive work with no day off. Yeah, one month without weekend and no pay, which led me to quit my previous company. Unlike in Canada, where my colleagues don't bother me at all outside of the working hours, this overtime culture is quite common in Shenzhen, so don't be that surprised. However, Remember that Shenzhen also offers a lot of resources and opportunities. It is a tech hub of China, and of course, the salary is also higher than in other regions. So for young people with ambitions and dreams, it's still a very popular choice. Number six, the cost. For the cost, there are two different perspectives. Because you know, living in China is not expensive. For food, for clothes, amenities, services, etc., everything is much cheaper than in North America or in Europe. But living in Shenzhen can be very expensive because of the housing price, especially when you compare the housing price with your revenue. Shenzhen ranked as one of the 10 cities having the most expensive housing price in the world. In Nanshan and Futian district, where most of the people work, the average housing price per square meters is around 14,000 American dollars, which means that if you want to buy a small apartment of 70 square meters, you need to pay about $1 million. In addition, we are in China, where the average revenue is lower than in the United States. And this is also one of the reasons why most of people here are young adults because once they want to get married, they go to another city where the housing price is more affordable. Even though I covered some negative aspects in this video, but they're kind of things that I wish I knew before I moved here. And overall, Shenzhen is an amazing city. It was only a village 30 years ago. And now look at it. It's clean, modern, and digital. Look at all these cool skyscrapers and buildings, you can see the future developing here. I really enjoyed my experience here, as it opened my eye and added so much in my life. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please let me know in the comments. And leave a like on the video so I know to make more of this and help more of you guys more often. And also subscribe because it does help me out as well. So that's it for this video, see you next time!